Park Distillery here is a backcountry cabin in the middle of Banff Avenue and that's our concept. We have three different floors, all different rooms and a campfire in our kitchen. You actually have a full distillery here. Uh, we're the first craft distillery restaurant in Canada that solely makes spirits, no beer, and we're creating product every single day. Being in Banff, uh, this is showcasing what uh, Canada has to offer in, in the art of making something. So we are taking from our pure Canadian product using our Alberta grains, milling down from scratch and outcoming a, a product proof down with our glacier water found here in the Rockies. What makes a good distiller? Passion and, and love and, and, and care for your product. But where did that start for you? About three years ago, we were in concept of part our distillery restaurant. And at that time, uh, it was meant to be a beer hall. And then the legislation changed, allowing craft distilleries to make a minimum amount of liters. And the ownership group sat me down and asked if I'd be interested in taking on the role of their master distiller. Cocktails and spirits was a passion for me and now distillation's a love. You're going to smoke a cocktail, add some uh, nice cedar essence to the cocktail here. This is not a hipster thing you're doing, this is a real story. This is the Observation Peak and it's designed to showcase straight spirits blended together to balance everything. So no citruses, no sugars, no additives. Right. Um, so we're going to start off with an ounce and a half of our Glacier Rye. And then we're going to use some dry curacao. Uh, we're going to throw in a little bit of uh, Amaro Montenegro, so this is a bitter sweet liqueur a touch of Dominican rum, just so that we could give it a bit of sharpness. Large ice being used uh, to allow for proper dilution, just to chill the cocktail rather than dilute it. We have a smoked cedar square, and we're gonna cap it, allowing the cocktail to have smoke enter into the glass. The server would come over to the table and they would open this up, allowing this to now be the coaster. So that's our observation peak, a uh, smoked cedar square. Wow. Yeah. I have no other words. I can just say, wow. You think people appreciate the real thing? We entered into the Alberta Beverage Award. We were lucky enough to come out with our gold medal for the rye, so this is best in class. The first ever batch of gin we produced got a silver medal, so judges selection. And then for flavored vodkas, we got a silver on the vanilla as well. The flavoring program that we do is something that's meaningful in, in the art of natural and organic. Uh, you look at our other flavored products in the world, there's blueberry, whipped cream, cupcake, brownie, and it's all chemical additives and induced glycerins. Uh, what we're trying to do is to show the consumer that we're naturally infusing our products. So our vanilla bean is a Madagascar bourbon vanilla bean. Uh, we have a half a bean per bottle, macerate in a large tank for 21 days, filter out, hand wash every single bean to put it back in the bottle to the show the consumer natural and organic infusions. Our chili is actually our number one sold product due to the Caesar here in Canada. Um, we have it without Tabasco. Uh, so this is our spice and it's three bird's eye chilies coming in from Africa per bottle. Sits down in our basement for 21 days. The oils exhaust out creating a hot back mouth heat spice that goes into our cocktails. Our espresso is literally steeped coffee beans. So I've got a, a four bean blend that I take a big cheesecloth bag and I dunk it into a tank of vodka for 18 days. So we're left with true coffee infused vodka. No sugar additives, no chemicals. But when you're doing mixology, when you're making that cocktail, or when you're making your still, you're making it for somebody? When I'm making a spirit, I'm trying to think of our, our end vision. And that end vision for a part is our cocktail program. So it all starts here for us. And once we make a spirit that says work well on its own and then into a cocktail and we're seeing traction in our retail room, now we know that spirit could hit the broader market. Our cocktails actually outsell both beer and wine combined. And being able to play and manipulate and change throughout the seasons with the spirits that we make are definitely something fun and interesting. So you're the specialist? One of. Yeah? So what do you think? Let's start with something classic like our Fifi's Mule. Fifi's Mule? Yeah, it's our take on a Moscow Mule. So what typically goes into a Fifi Mule? So you've got lime juice, we've got simple syrup, and then we actually use our house-made ginger beer as well here. You have house-made ginger beer? Yeah. There you go. Amazing. So who typically orders this? It's one of those all-encompassing kind of drinks. Anyone who likes something shiny, I think it's the mug mostly. Fifi is not the right name for this. <laughs> it's a little hard, harder than Fifi. It's a lot harder <laughs> than Fifi. 
I find other distilleries have to import their talent from Scotland. Sure. And here is a guy in a basement that figured out yeah. to do something pretty awesome. When you find something you love, it's not work anymore. It's passion and art and love. And this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life. I'm a 30 year old man and putting casts away now means when I'm 60, I'm popping my 30 year old whiskeys that I had put to rest when I was a young guy. And it's definitely the love for making spirits. Uh, taking that raw product of grain and having the outcome of these premium spirits that we make is, is what does it for me, you know. You sound like a pathological learner, which is a typical characteristic that comes with people that make things. Yeah, I, I find that I'm learning every day. I think I'll be learning for the next 30 years every day. It's gonna be fun. Well, I'll tell you, your story is special. I mean, a guy that's 13 year bartending and then being able to do something as awesome as this, winning yeah. prizes. And let's take a cheers, you. Yeah, that. cheers for sure. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing it with us. Yeah. Really appreciate it. We're all about supporting communities, businesses, inspiring people. We really appreciate your support. Come and join our movement. Give us a thumbs up. We would love to bring you more of these.